welcome to Try It Tuesday. This week we will be making a magazine collage like the one pictured here. So um, if you stop by the library on Tuesday at uh, 9 a.m., you can pick up a kit. So in your kit, you will find a couple of magazines. You'll find a cardboard canvas, a five by seven cardboard canvas, a little thought bubble frame to put around your collage and a clothespin. And at home, you'll need to provide a pair of scissors, a glue stick and some Elmer's glue. These two types of glue work the best with this project. All right, so let's go ahead and get started and I'll show you how you can make one of these cool uh, magazine collages with its own frame, uh, with its own stand. Uh, what you'll need to do is get one of your magazines and the first thing we're going to do is cover the edges of our canvas. So I already cut a few strips here. You get your scissors, cut a few strips uh, from your magazine. This will be to cover the edges. Okay, let's go ahead and get that. I already put some glue into this container here. And if you've ever done collage before, you know it's a lot of fun. It's a lot of glue. It can get a little messy, but that's that's the fun part of it. So I usually do the whole strip. I'll put glue on the whole strip. Oops. And if you have a little paintbrush or maybe even a Q-tip to spread it, that works as well. I kind of like using my fingers. So you'll just want to go along the edge of your frame, of your canvas, sorry about that, and then fold it over to the back. You want to create a nice edge for your for your picture for your collage so then I just cut off the excess and fold it over you can see that and then I continue all the way around the frame there you go so that's the front and that's the back and as you can see I've overlapped it to the back so that the frame so that the canvas has a nice edge all right we're gonna pause and I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of it okay so now that you have um, all of the edges covered this is the front of your canvas and I'm just gonna show you the back we fold it over and uh, we have all of the edges covered you're going to go through the different magazines that you have and you're gonna cut out different pictures or words that speak to you. So I've done a few here um, and you're going to get creative and have fun with this part because it's really a lot of fun. And then you're going to get whichever picture you like. And then, well, this one's kind of large. I'm going to cut that down just a little bit. And you're going to start layering them onto your frame. So you're going to put a little glue on the back. You're gonna, uh, let's do this first one here. You wanna spread the glue out evenly, probably a little bit better than I'm doing here, but we're gonna just demo this for you. So you're gonna lay different things out and make sure you cover all of the open space with different things that, that just speak to you, okay? Ooh, I love this gold roller skate. That's going on there for sure. <laughs> So you're just gonna take different pieces and layer your canvas. You can pause here while I get more on there. Okay, so now that you have your canvas completely covered with images and words that speak to you, you're gonna go ahead and get your uh, thought bubble frame and you're gonna place it on top so that it creates a nice little image there. So what you wanna do now is flip it over. Glue stick works best for this. I would not recommend using the Elmer's glue for the frame because it starts to warp your uh, paper. This is cardstock. It's a nice quality cardstock, but still with too much liquid on it, it'll start to, it'll start to warp your frame. So the glue stick does a nice job um, for gluing this down. So you wanna make sure you get glue all the way around <clears throat> in all of the spots, just like this. Whoops. 
And then you're going to place it right on top, nice and centered. I'm going to move this magazine so you can get a better picture. And then it helps if you place a heavy book uh, on top of this and let it dry completely before moving on to the next step. But this is what you're going to get, okay? So let's pretend I've placed this under a book and I've waited till it's completely dry. Now we're going to work on making a stand. Right here we have on the back of our uh, collage, we have a nice stand made out of nothing more than a clothespin, which is really quite interesting. So all you need to do, hopefully you can see this close up here, is slide one of the sides down into the half circle. And as you can see, it stays by itself there. There's a, like, a little tension with the metal part of the clothespin. And then you're going to use this flat part here to glue on the back of your frame. So what I suggest doing is not putting it right down at the center because then it stands too straight up. I suggest sliding it up testing out where you want it. So I'd say that's about three quarters of an inch from the bottom. Find exactly where you wanna place it. Get your glue. I would tip it sideways like that. Place the glue down on here. Hot glue works well too. If you have a hot glue uh, gun, you could use that for this here, but Elmer's glue works as well. You just need to wait until it's dry. So you set it like that and just hold on and wait. I'm not gonna put any pressure on this because the glue, well, no, it still holds. Yep, so there you have it. You have your frame all set, your magazine collage and your stand. And you, the last thing you need to do is display it, take a picture, post it on social media, show us what you've made. Thanks for joining us this week and I hope to see you next week. Bye.